Hello, welcome to Gamer Social. My name is Raphael here, and let's play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. I'm going to speak to Mira a bit more. Hello. Something wrong? Um. Can I get some grenades from you? <laughs> grenades? I didn't think Jedi used grenades. When you're fighting for your life, you use what's at hand. Well, I don't like to use them unless they're C5 concussion spheres or the Mersan cryoban pellets. Sonic screamers aren't too bad either, just don't use them on a Bith. Why not? It makes their head explode like a melon. And don't do it to a Celestine either. It makes their ears bleed and they jibber twice as fast. I'll keep that in mind. Can I get some from you? Alright, alright. Keep your robes on. Here you go. Thank you. There's some questions I wanted to ask. Go ahead and ask. Um... You seem restless. It's all this traveling. Being trapped in the ship. Everything's... Everything's just too quiet. Oh, savor it while it lasts. I'd rather be doing something, somewhere with people, activity, some life. Might not shoot up. Look, before we get okay. into a game of Guess the Pazak card, pull back on the throttle. I don't know you that well to start sharing our life stories. I had the wrong one. I was hoping we could talk. Talk? About what? Just wanted to get, you, get to know you a little better, that's all. Why, you trying to be my father? No thanks. Already had one. Somewhere. Come on, I can't be that bad. Give me a chance. Are you sure you're a Jedi? That exile of yours must have gone on longer than I thought. Look, you're way too old for me. Even if I were interested, you couldn't handle me anyway. I mean, you're really good in a fight, and you've got those intense eyes. And it's obvious you take care of your body, but I really don't have the luxury of getting attached to you. Besides, you already have your little entourage. I don't want to be a part of the pack, you know? What are you talking about? Look, if we start sharing a bunk, the other girls would get upset, and then I'd have to kick the hell out of them to show them who's the pack leader around here. No thanks. You're a sweet old guy. But let's keep it professional. Hmm. I'm not that old. It's more than age. I thought I'd seen a lot, but you look like you're a hundred inside. Hmm. Nothing, never mind them. Bloody hell, she called me old. What a bitch. What a bitch. I wasn't even trying to hook up with her anyway. Oh well. Let's speak to Atlan. Hello. You seem pretty calm. It's almost streaming off of you. A lot calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. I'm fine, in fact. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. <laughs> um, I have some questions for you. All right. What did you want to know? I met someone on Nashadai who says he, says he knows you. Yeah, that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits too? He says you're not Atten at all, that you showed up on Nashadar during the Jedi Civil War. I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be. And whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Nashadar during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. Is there anything you want to tell me? No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Calm down, I just wanted to know. No harm, man. Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it. Especially for an ex-Jedi. Or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for rather than asking about it? Hmm. I wouldn't do that again? I wouldn't do that again. You know what? I helped you get off, Dragas. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. Hmm. Why are you trying to protect me? I don't know. I'm not sure I understand it half the time. Hmm. I want to know where you were before you arrived on Nashada. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. Hmm, if you've got a question, then ask. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? It wasn't like that. Wasn't it? Maybe you thought they'd forgive you. Sure, you might have thought they'd execute you. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you, all those Jedi at Malachor, they deserved it. Every last one of them. 
They didn't deserve it. Why would you even say that? Because Jedi lie, and they manipulate, and every act of charity or kindness they do, you can drag it out squirming into the light and see it for what it is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. The Jedi are guardians of the peace. They are not as you describe. The Jedi, the Sith, you don't get it, do you? To the galaxy, they're the same thing. Just men and women with too much power, squabbling over religion while the rest of us burn. At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more. You're wrong, Atom. That is not the way of the Jedi. Whatever. Just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. Hmm. I'd like to know about your past, especially if we're traveling together. Well, don't get too attached to me. I don't like it. Hmm. Why not? It's because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. You served in the war? Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again, when Revan declared war on the Jedi. I didn't know you served with the Republic. I did. Up until the Republic officers began to betray their oaths to the Republic and side with Revan, Admiral Kareth, Mon Halan, General Darid, and all the rest. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors, because it was the right thing to do. You took an oath. What you did was betray- nah, come on, I won't be right- um... Mm -hmm. I agree, they probably did not deserve your loyalty, not any longer. The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The millions. You were at Serico when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the orbiting cities. And when the Mandalorians set fire to the Zoxan plains on Ares III. The fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war. And we would all be Mandalorian slaves or corpses. Hmm. Instead, you all became Sith. If that's what you want to call knowing when to fight and when to kill, then yes. But you can't really break down people into Sith and Jedi and expect everything to make sense. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. He saved us. What happened then? Oh no, so you fought a Revan like I had. It's another story, and it's nothing I feel like talking about. I did a lot of things I'm not proud of, and I couldn't do it anymore. Ah, uh, nothing there, never mind. I managed to gain some influence, I went to lots of points. Hell yeah. So we'll get some more story out of him, I think, but now it's time to go to our next destination. And we're gonna go to Telos, I think, because there's something I need to do over there first. Um, yeah, let's travel to Telos. Boom. Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress, nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter, it is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we will need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? 
Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. Mistress, is there something wrong? I am tired. I sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting. I fear... I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. That's weird. She didn't even know that Kreia was with us for some reason. If you've got some time, I'd like to see what I can upgrade for you. Yes, I do have a few moments to spare for your work. I would like to know what he is doing here, though. He helps me out with repairs. That isn't a problem, is it? I suppose not. Perhaps in working on my circuitry, your assistant will learn something about how a fully functional droid is constructed. That droid's a bit pissed off. Just ignore him and let's get to work. I would appreciate that. Our group has little in the way of time to spare, and I would not want to delay you from your other duties. Right. Let's get you open. See what you can do. <laughs> I have to say, you are put together quite well. There wasn't much to do. As I told you, my design is streamlined and efficient, though I am pleased that you were able to make some improvements, and this was not just a waste of my valuable time. There were a few things from my remote that I was able to integrate into your construction. I see. Well, thank you. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, a permanent plus one bonus to its dexterity. Awesome. We ain't gonna use it though. Why am I here? Oh, good. Um, it's just pointless. There's no point at all. Let's bring out the usual people, shall we? Yeah, I'm happy with that party configuration. So there's a little task we got to do here on Telos, which we're gonna do now, whilst we are here. And that is go speak to the person, dude, guy, thingamajiggy. Bloody Christ. Got to go to this thing first. Come on, then. Come on. Good stuff. Let's go, guys. We gotta go speak to the dude. I can't remember where I'm going around here. I don't know. Go on. We gotta go speak to the person who's in charge of this place and let him know that we managed to sort out a fuel source. Because that'll be um, good of us, and that'll close off that little mini quest. I gotta remember where the hell he is, though. At the moment, I don't remember which way to go. But... Um, I think it's this way. Yeah, it's in here. It's been a long time since we're here, though. Oh, well. Hello there. Oh, yeah, Lieutenant Graham. So you returned. Um, that's it. Are you going to put me under arrest? While I was disturbed that you chose to defy our orders, and obtain transport off Citadel Station. The matter has since been closed. It was the decision of Republic authorities that your testimony would no longer be necessary, and thus you'd be allowed to go. But as we discovered, you had already left. In some ways, it was lucky for us, avoiding a possibly embarrassing situation. Hmm. Why would the Republic change their minds like that? Why does the Republic do anything? The head doesn't know what the feet are doing. The hands don't even know they've got fingers let alone where they are. My opinion, they probably performed their independent investigation and figured it wasn't your fault. Anyways, you should just be glad I decided to overlook the fact you escaped arrest. Yeah, well, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. And if there's nothing else, I've got a job to do. Uh, I'll be going now. Try again. So you've returned. Yeah, I'll tell you about the bounties. What is it? Never mind. Have I got to speak to him about the... About the fuel. Um, not the trade war. Oh, I guess I don't have to do anything then. I thought I had to come here. Oh well. Waste of time that was. Not to worry. Away we go then. This way. Can I push him off? <laughs> now it's time to um, get out of there then, I suppose.
and go to our next destination. I'm guessing that will do. I thought I actually had something important to do here, but apparently not. Apparently I didn't even have to even bother. Get away from my ship. What are you doing? Dumbasses. Dear oh dear. I don't know. Uh, back to our ship. And we can go to our next planet. I know exactly what it's going to be. Open it up. Thank you. Let's get in there and fly out of there. Be good times. So we're making good progress through the storyline. Very good progress. And let it do its saving. And... Oh. Nope, it's fine. I thought it was going to give me some sort of background story crap, but nope. Out of the way, bitch. Out of the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Galaxy map. Um, Korriban. That's where I want to go to next. I want to try and find whoever's on Korriban. Let's travel now. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. There's great power in this place. For those who can hear its call. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. What happened here? It was said that Revan intended to return to Korriban to subdue any potential Sith insurgents, but Revan disappeared. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Korriban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. Do you think there are any living Sith here? As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. Let's head out then. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. Why would you come with me? I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Korriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. Hmm. Very well. Stay here and keep the engines prime in case we need to leave quickly. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark Would it? energy fills these rooms, and even the fallen Sith live still. Awesome! Really, really good. That's all we have time for in this episode. I will see you in the next one as we start to explore Korriban. I'm looking forward to it. I did like Korriban, and now we're back on it again. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you then. Oh. What the crap? Oh my days. They're beasts. They're quite terrifying. Yeah, we're okay, we can do it. <laughs>